Oh, I love working with children. Mind you, some of the kids today, they're, they're very rough, aren't they? That school up north, I see some of the teachers at that primary school, they've resigned. He said they want a more peaceful life. Should have joined the SAS. <laughs> but, see, at those schools now, in schools now, if they don't have the school bell, just have a four-minute warning. <laughs> was, you wouldn't, to look at, you wouldn't think I was a school teacher, would it? Well, I used to be a school teacher. You can still see the scars. <laughs> I'll never forget my first day as a school teacher. The first thing that struck me as I entered the school was half a brick. <laughs> <laughs> The little boy who threw it apologised. He said, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean to hit you. I was aiming for the curtain. <laughs> I said to one little boy in the playground, I said, which is the quickest way to the headmaster's study? He said, follow that fire engine. <laughs> all changed now since I was at school. You don't give free milk these days. You all get legal aid. <laughs> I want to start a school. Now, how does that grab you? I want to start a school to teach people how to be funny. I mean, how do you get to be funny? I mean, do you wake up one morning and say, I'm funny? <laughs> Comedians aren't born funny. As a child, you turn like a custard that goes off. <laughs> my dad used to peep inside my pram and say, Mother, this lad's going funny. <laughs> so, so I thought I'll start a school for funny people, the Naughty Ash Laughter College for Comics, the Academy of Comicality. Naughty Ash College for Comics, founded 1894 and still going wrong. <laughs> At the end of the term, all those students who graduated in comicality get something that will look nice on their sideboard. A tin of varnish. <laughs> during the war, during, you remember the war? It's in all the papers. Well, during the war... No, I don't remember it, but I read about it in The Wizard. The, there was this, there was this German, this German uh, platoon, uh, motorised platoon, drove into this Italian village, see, and everybody had run away, they'd all scarpered, and uh, nobody there, except in the middle of the village square, just a little piglet. One little piglet left sat in the middle of the village. And the German officer got out of the scout car. He said, not saying, not saying, he said, fair ass your people. And the little pig said, <laughs> <laughs> And this German officer went mad because he got the leather coat on and the hat down here like a traffic warden. He said, I will ask you one more time, Schwein. <laughs> fair ass your people. And the little pig said, <laughs> German officers, I must warn you. <laughs> we have ways of making you pork. 